Hey howdy hey partners, today I'm super excited because we're going to take a look at my movie accurate Woody collection in toy mode face. Let's get into it. Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. Here they are, my movie accurate Woody collection in toy mode face. I can't believe I have four of them now in my collection, something that was unexpected. I used to have the Metacom Woody as my fourth one, but I sold him because he wasn't really what I was looking for. I'm always looking for something that's closer to the movie. Now by accident, I acquired Toy Story NL's Toy Mode Woody. It's a magnetic head swap, so you can replace it with a collection head as well. I thought it'd be interesting to make this video to show you currently what these Toy Mode faces look like next to each other, including my JC Alva 1.0 my Woody 2.0, my Woody 3.0 I call them now, and the Toy Story NL custom Woody. I'm always curious to hear what the partners think out there of these toy mode faces because I always get different answers for different Woodies. For example, my JC Alba Woody. Some people say that it looks like Toy Story 1 Woody or it looks more like a Toy Story 2 Woody. And I think that it's all subjective. Nobody's really right and wrong. It's kind of like open to interpretation. So it's kind of like whatever you think is best. But personally, I also am biased because I have my own opinions. But I really think that my chase for movie actor Woody uh, from Toy Story 2 was completed with my latest Woody. But it's very interesting to see them side by side. They all are a little different with the expressions, but pretty close and identical in terms of they're trying to achieve the same look of Woody in toy mode as Andy holds Woody in the movie. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think each one of these Woodies looks like most like from which movie? Because Woody, as we know, changes a lot from Toy Story 1 to 4. He goes through many design changes and he never looks quite exactly the same. Here are the Woodies with their hats off so you can get a better look at them. And also the hairlines, they're different. On Jordy's and now Woody, I noticed that they're a little brighter. The highlights of the hair and other ones more subtle. The JC Alva is definitely more subtle as well. But they all have their own charm and their own kind of feel and it's just really cool to see them side by side to compare details of which ones we like better for accuracy with paint or the vests or the jeans especially because these are all real denim jeans. This one is printed on white logo here on JC Alva because this was my first attempt at a movie accurate Woody before I really understood what was going on and how to make it myself with the help of my friends. So it's very cool to see and let's look at a side view comparison. Here they all are in side view so you can kind of see the yellows kind of vary on each Woody I noticed. On JC Alva it's a little bit more of a golden yellow and then it's gradually changing to a brighter yellow as we go on. But if you look at the movie, Woody does change colors. You know, it's not always a consistent yellow either. So it's kind of cool to have these variants and kind of have an in-between of different shades of yellow. But it's definitely better than what I feel we got for the collection Woody, which is just like a straight gold, which is completely off. I kind of like the golden yellow tones because that's what we saw Woody in the movie have. So that's pretty cool. They all have pretty similar side profiles. You know, they all have the ruby in the holster, they all have the hand mod, except for uh, Toy Story and Elle's Woody, his is the regular collection hands, but it still looks really cool. From far back, it does achieve that look of movie anchor Woody. So they all look pretty similar though, just differences in the hairline applications for sure. Taking a closer look at the ruby in the holster, there's JC Alva's 1.0. Here's my Woody 2.0, where I kind of painted it like a leather color myself on the holster different application. Here is Woody 3.0, which is my current favorite for holster. I think I nailed it on this one with the metal detailing. It's my favorite one currently. And then this one is Jordy's. He actually did an incredible job. I really like the metal detailing as well on that. So as you see, they're all very similar again, but different in their own way. They have their own character charm, and that's what's really cool to see them side by side. Here's a closer look at the Spurs 1.0, 2.0. 3.0 and Toy Story NL's custom Woody. Nothing really much to say about the back of Woody, definitely different. This is where you can really see the hairlines pop a little bit different. I really love JC Alva's application. It does look really nice, very simple and subtle, but effective. Here on 2.0 looks good, but the hairlines are a little reddish. I wish they were a little bit more of this golden orange color. I think it looks more movie accurate. On 3.0, it is kind of the same, nothing really different on that one. And then on Jordy's, he did more of a gold color, which actually looks more movie accurate to me. I think this looks the best and closest to what we saw 
with Thinkway Toys collection, Woody. It kind of looked more golden that way on the hairlines. So they're all great. At the end of the day, I wish I kind of had a hybrid for all of these hairlines on this one, but it's not a huge deal for me and they're all very similar at the end of the day. Here are the Woodies together on the other side profile. Here's a close-up of JC Alva's buttons, belt buckle, and badge. Looks really good. Magnetic mod it also has more of a clear pearlized look. I do like the buckle paint as well. It's very nice. And that is a Not A Toy Company badge. This time for 2.0, we did a Not A Toy Company badge as well, magnetic mod. But the pearl buttons, they're different than the first JC Alva one. As you can see, we went more with the milky white because sometimes... Woody's buttons do look like the translucent pearl ones you see here, but sometimes in the movies it does look more milky white like this. So it's really a personal preference at the end of the day. There's no really right or wrong way to do this. It's kind of like, what do you like better? I feel like the belt buckle colors kind of improved as time went on. And then for 3.0, I really like the belt buckle a lot because it's kind of like a blend of like an orangey yellow, but it's still like a true yellow. And then you have the milky white buttons with not trying to come any badge. But this time I went with a real metal pin for the badge because that's what I wanted a real metal pin so that's cool and then Jordy did great with the milky white and uh, toy company badge also the yellow looks pretty accurate as well so overall pretty similar but they all have their own differences too here are the hats this is 1.0 Woody JC Alva here's 2.0 hat 3.0 hat from not a toy company and Jordy and Al's Woody which is pretty cool. I like the leather cord. It's a little thick here, but I do like the color of it. I really like this one the best. I like Not A Toy Company. It looks like a real leather hat and it's got real leather cord. That's a nice color that matches the band. Same thing with this one. It's okay. I think this color was okay to try, but I really like the color upgrade on this one for the leather cord. And then this one is a white logo hat. And I think the cord is just a little bit too blended in with the hat color. And if you look at the movie, Woody's contrast to the stitching kind of looked darker like this. That's something very minor, but something I noticed when looking at the differences of the hats from all of these Woody's. So 1.0, we didn't do the felt mod, so I'm just going to leave it that way. I introduced the felt mod for 2.0 and 3.0, and then Jordy did a kind of like a glue dot method. It kind of does the same effect, but I feel like this protects the heads the best. Here we have all the Andy signatures on the bottom of the boots. So you can see the comparison of the handwriting. We have 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and Jordy's. And it's very interesting to see the different things that we tried. I definitely had JC Alva do this one for me. He did a great job. Looks pretty screen accurate. Then for 2.0, I wanted to try something different, like when Woody smudged the paint off. And it kind of had that smudged paint effect after the cleaner scene when he revealed the name Andy underneath the fresh paint. I wanted that look and it kind of achieved it there. It looks really great. And then on the third boot, that was handwritten with Sharpie. I copied the screen cap from Toy Story 2 as well. And then the top boot is from Jordy. He did a great job too. So they all look great and they have their own charm and character differences as well. So that's very interesting to look at. And do you guys have any idea how hard the shot was to make? It took me like 10 minutes to play Jenga with these woodies. That was really, really hard to do. My favorite Woody out of all these is gonna be 3.0. I'm biased because that's the best one I could do with a brand new Brazilian real denim jeans body. So I can't get anything better than that. I really like it, especially the hat, no holes in it. It's just got everything I wanted out of a movie accurate toy mode Woody. So that one is my favorite. But let me know in the comment section below, which one is your personal favorite? And let me hear your feedback on what you think, which Woody looks like, what Woody from what movie. I would really love to read those comments. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you later for future videos on this channel. And I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.